Ah, room filled with dead people and a trap. I suppose we can go back to that room if we wanted to. I don't know. Kara just feels compelled to avoid it, considering what might be in it. This is an awfully busy little room, isn't it? Secret door, the same room. Yep. Identify bullets, broken weapons, bloodstone gem. I think the party can come over in this direction. Good as done. Apparently, we're not close enough yet. Because Carrot's walking in the wrong direction. And what is it? More darts of stunning. Perfect. What you what you want? I mean, what is it even? Bloodstone gem, that actually is valuable. Rainbow obsidian necklace, I don't think that's actually that valuable. So we're just going to drop that. Pick up those identify scrolls. Maybe give one to Diana here. Give them both. She can use them to identify this two-handed sword. Which is just a plus one sword. For some reason she couldn't identify that. It's kind of odd, considering it seems fairly straightforward to me. None of our strong fighters have any inventory space in order to equip that, huh? Oh, that's unfortunate. Boo seems content to take up valuable inventory space that could otherwise be used. Ooh, we can give that to Khalid. That actually increases our inventory by a little bit. Okay. Another secret entrance. Certainly seems to be no shortage of them here. Wow, four traps in that hallway. I knew there was a reason why anyone wanted to avoid that. Uh, where's that potion of perception? Yeah, we're gonna drink that. And get rid of all these traps. Wow. Talk about a dangerous hallway. Ooh, wow. Yep, apparently there was one still there. She's getting it. So Boom! And amazingly enough, she survives it. Wow. No more mistakes, people. We can afford no more losses. Well, that one's dead. Apparently disarming the traps doesn't actually disarm anything. So we're going to go back to that quick save, and hopefully it won't backtrack us too much. Probably will. Yeah, it'll probably put us right back here to where we were last time before we actually, I don't know, did anything. Did we even search this? Yes, we did. Wow. Yeah, this is... Well, I mean, yeah, it's not like we weren't expecting that with all the bodies there. We thought we had gotten rid of all the traps. Apparently there were more. I can see where uh, this could be like that. It's kind of funny, Derlek's Tower. This is very much in the theme of first edition, where, you know, the, it's, the adventure is just one enormous dungeon crawl, and it's just incredibly dangerous, and you really shouldn't expect any real degree of survivability at any point, just because it's not going to happen. I mean, it's incredibly dangerous, filled with horrible monsters, make you die in terrible, terrible ways. There's no real sure bet in order to get anything that you want out of it. So yeah, it's just a rotten situation through and through. 
think we, uh, yeah, let's just drink one of these potions. Only to liberate inventory space for Khalid. And one is again having to deal with too much stuff. Yes, it's missing. We'll deal with reading the books in a moment. We'll wander off in this direction. Durlag's pride. This is a monument to the dwarven hero Durlag. The sword has been fused with a rock and cannot be removed. And I do believe there is a trap here somewhere. Oh yeah, the skeleton warrior, I forgot about him. And let's make him feel at home. With an acid arrow. Which he resists. That's just everybody. Down he goes. Doesn't matter, he'll carry it. Oh, I can even wear that in order to free up space. Huh, I've done had enough of this. Going to quick save more regularly this time. I believe this one is trapped, yes. We can go by and fiddle with that in a moment. Actually, let's just check out this sword. I mean, why not? What's the real harm in it? Let's go through the literature. Durlag like moved through the Troll Mountains, killing all of the fell beasts. It came to pass, he and his Durlag like and his man at arms, Arlo Stoneblade, ventured in the bowels of the Great Rift, fought the hideous Tanari Akletek, and with a single blow of his axe, Durlag like slew the demon's body and trapped its soul in an enchanted dagger. This is similar to me was no match for the mighty Durlag. The dragon spells could not harm him, and her breath was a gentle breeze to Durlag. Like a god of battle, Durlag waded into the draw horde, slaying thousands. Apparently, Durlag is very powerful. And he'd have to be. In order to kill this many monsters and create his own giant dungeon, Durlag's pride says, You have praised my deeds in glory. My sword now glows with pride. My journal entry says something about it. What does it say? I had begun exploring Durlag's tower when I met a man by the name of Bayard. He seemed calm, though this place had frightened him and he was choosing to leave. Apparently his party are still within, having decided to go on without him. He wished them well, but would not follow. The traps on Tesla by Durlag are beyond his ability, or so he seemed to think. Some of the traps are extremely lethal, offering no second chance to a stresspasser. The place is not meant to hinder, but to kill. He is also afraid of the creature that has taken up residence here. It is apparently a demon knight, some type of fell servant from the lower plains that is supposedly extremely powerful. Bayard feels that attacking such a creature directly is tantamount to suicide. Perhaps this fear will serve him well, but I must go onward. I should keep an eye out for these ward stones that you mentioned as well. They must be keys of a sort. Alright, apparently that was not the journal entry I was looking for, but it doesn't matter. Let's go forward and try to talk to it. Oh, well, it's fused into the stone. The carrot will talk to it. Or he can't. No, he can't talk to it. The sword does. Apparently, it's an antisocial sword. Doesn't really much care to talk to adventurers. Apparently, that's not its thing. It just wants to be you know, remembered, I suppose, and that's enough. Which is fair. I mean, you really can't blame it for that. And we're gonna drink some healing potions. And we're gonna push forward. Get rid of these uh, mustard jellies up here. She 
here and takes a big hit. Oh, and it's going the wrong way. Carrot and it's losing all reason. It's charging. Maybe we should just use his darts. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know. I guess these things hit so hard. That's why our hit points are just evaporating like that. Healing potions galore. As you direct. I've done had enough of this. Nature servant away this way. She already dealt with the traps here. Uh, we have to play our little uh, quick let's solve the problem game. I'm gonna leave those arrows there, they're not needed. We gotta find a space for uh, that stuff that we have there. Gotta take a ring. I think. Yeah, okay, she can take the potions of speed. Broken weapon, and we did want to carry one of that, one of those with us, just in case we can use that to repair the tools that uh, yes, oh, oh, smithy hammer or whatever it is. Everyone was going to move forward and check for traps, which I think there was one over here last we check. Yes, there was. All right, and there are of course all the ones in that hallway, which I don't think you can actually disarm all of them, or if you can, she didn't. The group. I'm gone. There we are. Giving more darts to carry. Identify scrolls to someone, anyone. Here, you. You take them. I don't think there's anything else particularly valuable.